common question I hear from clients is, Michael, I've got this prop. How do I effectively utilize it in my story? It's a tough question to ask because there are a lot of variables. It depends on what kind of prop it is, what importance it has to the narrative, et cetera. But with that said, I recently picked up an idea from one of my fellow world-class speaking coaches. She's brilliant. And her idea was this. When you bring a prop on stage, especially if it's something smaller, let's say this book, for example, you have to occasionally make eye contact with it, look at it. It's almost like you're talking to it because your audience's eyes follow your eyes. If you just mention the prop, but you put it over here to the side, they're not going to pay attention to it if you don't. So quick example, this book in particular is an important prop. When I'm telling people the reason I'm here on stage in front of you today is because back in 2002, I asked a young man to be my mentor. He was the world champion of public speaking at the time. He was a professional and I wanted to have the kind of success he did. So his challenge to me was, Michael, you got to buy this book. You buy this book and read it and I'll work with you. Well, when I present it like this, you notice I'm still looking at you, the audience, through the camera, and I'm not really paying attention to the book. Let's try it a second way and see if you feel the difference. Well, one of the big reasons I'm standing before you today is because back in 2002, I approached a young man, a successful speaker, is a world champion of public speaking. I said, I'd like you to be my mentor. He said, well, you got to buy this book. All right, which book is that? It's called Stand Up Comedy, The Book. All right. Well, I went right on Amazon and I bought this book. I still have it to this day. And I didn't even just buy this book. I got it and I read it from front to back. I took notes and I got a lot of good ideas. I wasn't trying to be a comedian, but it had some great presentation ideas. So I called him up a week later. I said, I got the book. He said, you did? I said, yeah, I didn't just buy it. I actually read the book. He said, Michael, nobody's ever bought and read that book before. Yes, I'll work with you. All right. Could you see the difference? Holding it over here and just talking about it, I'm not interacting with it. By looking at it, opening it, going from front to back, I interacted with it. Did you not find your eyes drawn to the prop? That's an effective way to make the prop part of your presentation. So if the next time you're thinking about using a prop like this, if you're not going to interact with it, don't bother because people are not going to pay attention to it. They're not going to feel the impact it had. Hope that helps. Try it out. And the best part about practicing with a prop to see if it'll work is you can record yourself like I'm doing right now. Go back and watch it and say, yeah, there is a difference. Try it out. I think you'll like it.